Richard Cloth Anderson Jr. was born on August 4, 1788, to Richard Cloth Anderson and Elizabeth Clark Anderson at Soldier's Retreat in Jefferson County, Kentucky. His mother died in 1795 when he was seven. For his education, Anderson attended a private school. He attended William and Mary College in 1804. Anderson married Elizabeth Gwathme in 1810, and they had four children. He studied law in Virginia and began his practice in Louisville in 1815. He was also elected to the Kentucky State Legislature in 1815. He was then elected to two terms as a U.S. House Representative from 1817 to 1821, and while he was there, he was elected as the chair of the Committee of Public Lands. In 1821, he returned to the Kentucky Legislature and became the Speaker of the House in 1822. He was appointed plenipotentiary to Columbia in 1823, which was a diplomatic head of a mission who was ranked below ambassador. While there, he negotiated with Pedro Gall and formed the anderson gall Treaty. The treaty opened up trade relations between the United States and Grand Columbia. It was the first treaty that the United States signed with another American state. What I mean by an American state is a state or a country in North, South, and Central America. The treaty lasted until 1837. He was envoy extraordinaire and minister plenipotentiary for the Panama Congress of Nations and traveled to Cartagena in 1826. On his way to Cartagena, he fell ill, and on July 24th of 1826, he died of yellow fever in tobacco. He is buried on Hurstbourne Lane in Jefferson County. I hope you've enjoyed learning about Richard Cloth Anderson Jr. He comes from a family with many notable names. His father was Richard Cloth Anderson, and you can find a video about him on our channel as well. He has two famous uncles, General George Rogers Clark and Captain William Clark, of the Lewis and Clark expedition. He also had two well-known brothers, Robert Anderson, a Civil War general, and Charles Anderson, governor of Ohio. Anderson County, the 82nd county of Kentucky, was named after Richard Cloth Anderson, Jr. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. Like and share this video and subscribe to the Kentucky History Podcast and then hit the notification button to get more Kentucky history content. If you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod and find us on Twitter and Facebook at kyhistorypod and Instagram at Kentucky History Channel. And don't forget to check out the Kentucky History Podcast on many podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.